Life is strength. This is not to be contested. It seems logical enough. You live, you affect your world. But is it what you need? You are different inside. This woman lives and has strength of a sort. She lost her parents to plague, her husband to war, but she persevered. Her farm has prospered, her name is respected, and her children are fed and safe. She lived as she thought she should. And now she is dead. Her land will be divided, her children will move on, and she will be forgotten. She lived a good life, but she had no power. She was a slave to death. I wonder if you are destined to be forgotten. Will your life fade in the shadow of greater beings? You are born of murder, the very essence of that which takes life. You have power if you wish it. Really, but the consequences are so very real. Your actions affect so many others than yourself. You will come to realize how little choice you have. You will do what you must, become what you must, or others will pay for your cowardice. You will accept the gifts offered to you. Hello everyone, welcome back to Baldur's Gate Enhanced Edition 2, Baldur's Gate 2 Enhanced Edition, let's play, part of the Baldur's Gate Trilogy. Uh, my apologies for the dream sequence and the conversation that popped up earlier, I, they completely caught me off guard while I was prepping up for this episode. Uh, so today we're going to do a couple things. First off, we're going to finish exploring this place, and then, am the I, sword, I don't think we're going to do anything too hardcore, but there is another quest back in Joaquin's Promenade that I would love to do. So, so this way, for now, Minsk and stand I'm go ahead back and take a look at here. And, uh, oh, for God's sakes. Here we go again. Here, we'll let him get closer to us. I worry that there might be some, uh... Yeah, that's what I figured. Oh, and it's... Well, it's an ochre deli. Oh, that's not so bad. Oh, for crying out loud. I forgot they can shoot at you. Yeah, whoa. What do you freaking do? Now, what's this one? This is a green slime, it looks like. No, that's a... M oh, great. Well, that's even worse. My archers can sit this one out. Uh, oh, great. Really? Ha! And then got slowed. Oh, and he's diseased, too. That's just great. Funny thing about being... S well, well, maybe it does already have attacks, but I can't... I don't think it really matters with the cleric. Um, Nature's servant awaits. could a, well, here, I don't know if, um, slow poison yeah. can work on his condition, but it doesn't hurt to try. Let's see here. Yeah. I didn't think so. Got it. Here. We'll just rest. There we go. You point. Okay, so now, there's nothing super amazing about the sewers, but there are a couple of interesting want? quests here. Uh, well, more like, uh, little side diversions than anything else that are kind of fun to do. Um, so yeah, let's see here. Um, to the right, well, no, to my left, there's a Myconid King. And, yeah, basically, uh... The mushroom people. Oh yeah, they're back in the scene. Of course they are. Why wouldn't they be? 
Yeah, oh, here's another mustard jelly. That's just fucking great. Okay. What is it now? Every hamster has his day. Shall prevail. You require my counsel, yes? Armor. Again, don't Armor forget, mustard jellies are immune to piercing damage. Or miss missile damage. What the? Oh, oh, hang on. For a moment, I felt like I wasn't hearing any. Oh my god, yes! Thank you! And of course, I keep forgetting to summon my godforsaken. Oh, looky here! Level 6! Oh wow, that's a pretty pattern. Let's see. Crushing Earth, Fire Elementals. Oh yes. This is one of the best summoning spells in the game, by the way. Probably the. Uh, oh, what's this? Oh, that's right. Harming friend and foe. Uh, no, thank you. <laughs> this one. Okay. So anyway, I keep talking about my spirit animal. I keep forgetting someone. So, I see. This is basically I can do this three times per day. These are shape shifting. I will never shape shift. Now the only what? problem with this animal summoning, probably why I don't rely on it as much as I should. It is a dangerous business, as you well know. Any one of us could die without even a moment's notice. I did not so much get into adventuring as it was forced upon me. Forced upon you, by what do you mean? My stepfather was killed by a man who was looking for to kill me. I was alone. I was alone with no place to call home when I started on this road. Tell me more about this man who killed your Why do you want to know? I always like to know about the people I travel with. Very well, his name was Saravak. He was obsessed with the power of your father and wished to kill me to prevent me from taking it. Who's your father? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. I have seen many strange things this land. I have very little incredulity left in my mind. As you wish. My father is a dead god, Ball. He had premonitions of death before the time times troubles and arranged to have children. Saravak and myself were the only two I know. Ball, the god of murder? Yes. But there could be others? Other children of Ball? Why this is an interested in Ball? It is an interesting story. I wish to hear more. Then in answer to your question, yes, there could be children of Ball. I know of none personally. It's very interesting. I shall think of it. Thank you. You'll all understand why he asked later. <laughs> Um, but anyway, as I was saying, the only problem with the spirit summoning is that it takes forever. I'm not even kidding you. It, like, takes forever. So, oh yeah, I remember this now. Hmm. Uh -huh. I don't know about you, but it's time for me to test out a new spell I decided to give myself. The Troll Killer's Fireball. It's pretty much the same as a regular fireball, except it goes up to a maximum of 16d6, which is perfect for me because I am well past level freaking 10. So... It takes a while to. Oh, yeah. Oh! That's pretty! Oh, careful. Hey. Here we go! Great. Of course it did. The hell? Was that fire? Oh, that's right! It does. Any enemies that get damaged, they take uh, fire damage per turn. My god. Jump on my sword while you can, evil. I won't be as uh, and, of, and of course, it was our second healer. Live a good long time. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Give me a second, guys. I'll be back. Well, I didn't get shit from that room. I guess experience is its own reward. And look, another dream. Oh, my God, they come on. Now, these I did not alter in speed. They just go this fast. Stand. Yes, teacher. <laughs> you rest each night uneasy. Yes, you are weary. You struggle daily. It will not end, you know, until you acknowledge what you are. You walk as a mortal, taking no advantage from your heritage, from your talents within. So many things of flesh are greater than you. Walk among them, these beasts that are less than you are. See their strength. See how easily you fall to their muscle and skill. Hey, it's me. And that's a pit fiend. Wow. Lesser beasts, huh? That was a horrible demonstration. Whoosh. Why do you stand for this? Why do you submit to the flesh when death is bred in your bones? Death is bred? What are you talking about? I'm no child of Merkel. Do you realize the power you might hold? When the world of flesh is beneath you, even creatures mysterious and magical will fall. Here I am again. And here we have a mind flayer, a lich, and some type of vampire. Yeah. Ah, look at me. I'm a beholder. <laughs> Jeez. I don't know if that's how it works, but whatever. 
follow and receive the gift you are owed by the blood in your veins. Follow, if only to protect the weak that fell because of you. How do I protect those who have already fallen? Yeah. Pretty much dreams just torturing my mind. I believe that's the last one. And before you ask, no, we don't get any yeah. powers from sure. that. So, actually, before we go too quickly... I... No, I'm not. What are you talking about? Oh, my God. The two skeletons lie entrenched in each other's arms their eternal embrace. One skeleton is slightly smaller than the other. On his pointing finger, there is a gold ring. You could remove it if you wish to. I believe I will. You remove the ring from the finger, and it tingles in your palm. There's obviously something special about this ring. It is called the Lover's Ring. Nice. Very, very interesting. Okay, let's keep Okay, so if we take a left to go up here, we're going to find a few enemies. So, be ready. Uh, Cobalt Shaman. Sewer is no place for you. Sewer is our place. Go to our faith, my wrath. Yeah. Faith, my wrath. Wow, I sure know how to pronounce What's words, up? don't I? Okay, so, yeah. Okay, whatever, you little shit. So, here's a fun little spell I didn't even realize I'd memorize. Codeza Slime Golem. And, yes, it really is, I guess, what you think. I'm kind of curious to see what this looks like. I wonder if it's a recolored water elemental. Okay. If memory uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, call shot. I am ready. Let's see here. <laughs> Smashing wave. This is such a cool spell. I'm going to use it again. Let's see here. Where am I at? It is above time. It is Actually, done. I lied. I'm not going to use that. That's totally going to hurt my allies. Alright. Well, in that case, I shall just shoot my boat. I shall go forth at your command. Okay, let's go ahead Hero coming through. Whoa! I am ready. Look at that big ass son bitch. Oh my god, that is awesome. Uh, I guess this is this? happening. Oh great, really? You require oh, my counsel, dang it. She apparently has to go all the way that way. Also, um Did my characters just get paralyzed? Uh oh. I hope that wasn't my Here, you know what? I wonder if it's because of my golem. Says, what? So this thing? Hurry up! You point, but or no, no, it, they didn't. It's a. I was wondering because I could hear them cry out, and I'm like, someone who's held in place does not make noise. Take Orders. another quick look at this spell. Make sure it's not because of. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't. Okay, it doesn't do anything. This place okay, cool. Fun. All right. Well, must be a glitch. It's great. Okay. Where Minsk goes, well, not a big deal. Inside. Here, I tell you what. Everybody, stop. You move out of the way, and I'm gonna go pick up everything, and I'll you meet you guys mean? later. Okay, so finish looting, and hilariously enough, one of the items just so happened to be uh, where who has it? You have it. The circlet of lost souls from uh, Siege of Dragon Spears. So that's kind of cool. Oh, yes, there is. Armored, sharpened, and raring to go. I meant to do that. How convenient. A bridge. Oh, wow. Good timing. He just left. Yeah, they don't last all that long, unfortunately, but they do last longer with every level you get, so. And there's always a chance I might get two of them. Which is certainly nice. Okay, let's keep on moving. Okay, and here we are with an old man and, hilariously enough, a carrying crawler that will not attack you. 
Now, what's up with this, I wonder? Hmm? What do you want? Uh huh. His name is Qualo. He says, You have come for the blade, I suppose, as we have always expected, my friend. He glances at the creature beside him. Too long in this pit, too long. What friend are you speaking to? This beast that you see, he is a monster to you, but to me, he is a friend. Would you like to kiss him? <laughs> Fuck you! He loves affection. He loves to taste the flesh of the unwary. It is his one weakness. It has been his gift to me for these last long, these long years. Well, that's just creepy. This horrible creature's your friend? Maybe something more? I don't really want to know. My one true companion. Okay, we're done talking about that. Tell me this blade you spoke of earlier. The gleam in your eyes. I believe your greed, your passion. I found his blade. Child, this is hidden. Most insidiously, a cruel just has been played upon us all. My friend here knows this. We're going to find it. <coughs> the one is enough clues for you. Have you not found the one's clues? Where are the top side filth drains? There are the clues. Return to me where you follow the one's path for those. Much, uh, much you should learn. So look for the clues and return. Who is the one? Uh, you've met him already, child. Perhaps soon you shall know him well. Find the clues of one that's left. There's danger of what you must undertake. Okay. Uh, where the top side filth drains, there are the clues. Return to me where you follow this one's path for there's much that you must learn. So, this is, um... Armored! Sharp jump on my sword while you can, evil. I won't be as gentle. I'm ready. All right, let's see if we can find this place that he speaks of. Glowing pool. The pool takes a faint glow and ex <laughs> it's so radiated. An excited voice resounds within your head. At last, find the keys, Wilder. I found a man lacking in worth. So you should be my voice. I am free. Prove your worth, and I shall submit to your mastery. Listen to the words of my jailer, who has cast me all so you might pass from this world. The voice takes on a solemn tone. Four locks are cast and made. Four wards will hold the blade. In what order shall I place the keys? For death's await thee. Uh, the voice resumes an excited manner. When all was silent, I crept from the slime and scratched rhymes for you. Avala forbade it and hid me, but he is dead, so I've ignored him. What's going on here? Where are you? The voice laughs. I can't reveal all. Prove your worth. Find Quello. We shall speak to the vessel. Be careful. The wards must be broken in the proper order. A puzzle, obviously. We must find the four things spoke to unlock whatever mystery is hidden here. What hides this thing in such fast, I wonder? Okay, so, here's what you need to do. Not only do you need to find four, uh, keys, as he mentioned. In fact, we actually have one of them already. Uh... Here it is. But you also... Swords, actually, I think we found two of them. Anyway, you also... need to place them in the proper Minstrel order. Run, bo, run! So, uh, yeah. We'll have fun finding that stuff. See what Qualo has to say. Yes? Uh... I have found your clues, old man. What else would you require to thing things to knock itself? Okay. And what me... What you will mean about the keys, I shall give you what answers you are worthy of. Some questions I may not answer. Can you tell me about the string? It is not first, nor does it belong in the third pipe. The staff, what uses it to me? The staff shall seal the bargain and prove your worth. No more questions at this time. Every hamster make way, villainy. Hero coming Hunter, so I shall start Okay, Let's see if we can find everything else that this clue told me about. Okay, so I noticed this icon here. I'm thinking the last one is in here somewhere. Uh, pool beneath the grate. Water is dark and slime filled. Uh, reach into the pool. You find something, but as you draw it out of the pool, you're bitten by some creature. Despite the pain, you draw an old shriveled hand out of the pool. Ew! There we go. These are the. Wait. These are the items that we need to turn in. Okay. Who says what? Back and talk to Qualo real Jump quick. On my sword, what? Okay, so we talk to Qualo and he says, uh, what should I use his hand? Let's follow his hand and cast him into the depths. His suffering is of prime importance. And I guess the helmet was not as useful to me as I thought it would be. Ugh, I hate it when I find the wrong items. A tale of a foul beast playing, perhaps. The story of your joust, if you wish. Very well. Two summers past, chosen squires of Torm were invited to a tournament in Rialvan. I traveled as the captain of our delegation, of course. Of course. En route, we were attacked by a wyvern. Overcome with fear, the battle plans that had been drilled into my companions fell apart as the first man was killed by the beast's claws. It would have been a veritable slaughter had I not kept my wits about me. What happened? 
I jumped on its back and impaled it through the spine with my spear. Your heroic saved the day. I only did what I had to as kept as had to his captain of the group. The order would have frowned heavily had I let the Nova's fools be diced by the creature. Okay, so I checked out the things and um Minsky, battle, bo. Run, bo. Run. So these will give you uh let's see. They wait inside, then they die after the grave. I have to bring me the lover's gift. Cool. Yeah, I forgot about these. These actually tell you the clues. They take forever to go away. Thank you. So, okay, here we go. Okay. Uh, no sacrifice will do, but the blood of a friend true. But guilt will leave the stain if you wish to have this blade. Hmm. Okay. I think I know what it's talking about. It's been a while since I've done this. Uh, Vala is no more, but he has left a thing behind. Give me a hand and I shall help you in return. Smell of dog, skin of lizard. To find the staff, kill the wizard. Every hamster has his day. It's actually pretty clever writing, my friend. Villainy. Hero coming through. Yeah, that last one always trips me up because I forget about the creature over here. Mm, okay, so we'll have to kill it if I remember correctly. There it is. This one. Armor, Shabbat, and now, we now have to put these in. Oh, hang on a second. And, of course, he doesn't care at all. Yes. Uh, what's the blood of a true friend that his world speaks of? A pain to the car so on his face and he turns away. Oh. Yes. He won't tell me. Okay. Who says... Okay, what? so let's see here. Okay, so pipe. Okay, so basically. So the staff is last, the hand is first, um, and then the ring acquired from the skeletons belongs to neither the first nor the third pipe. Ah, there you are. Okay. Let's go ahead and activate these pipes. This one? Because the hand goes first. You jump on my sword while you can, evil. I Next is the ring. Next is the blood. And finally, the staff, which seals the deal. And anima leveled up. Yes. And of course, we got a, a reward, a magical sword. Level one, level three, level six spells. Nice. All right, let's see what we got here. So... Shars embrace. Wow. Okay. Um, sword energy attacks both physical and magical. Uh, ten percent increased by individual percentage every two levels. We maximum of fifteen percent. Ugh. Really? Man, armor faith does better than that. Uh, let's see here. Which shoots out from casters in four directions like lightning bolts. Sheesh. Nice. Same moral alignment. All right, cool. Entropy shield. Nice. Now there's a good one. Uh, yeah, we'll do bolt of glory first. Um, really, really, really useful attack. Um, and then here's blade barrier, which is freaking awesome. Just be careful where you use it. Uh. Yeah, well... Oh, hello. Contra Shadow Elemental. Thank goodness. Oh, wow. It's essentially a Fire Elemental, except Shadow. Swords, Good stuff! Not words. Anyway, where's this sword that I got? Uh, Is it my inventory already? Oh, here it is. Okay. So this sword is useful, if annoying. It's called the Larkor. Lawrence of the Larkor was well known not for being brave, but for being an idiot. <laughs> a boastful of this village, the urging of his friends so that the great hero could do battle with a uh, devious trance. 
Walked for days when we went to our twelve fevers, he found a target and began a wrestling match. Unfortunately, or perhaps luckily, the tree ant was nothing more than a craggy old normal oak. His friends had been testing. I actually expect the lower corps to go fight the big distinct tree. That might have been the end of it, but the lower corps, not really knowing what a tree was in the first place, didn't realize the truth. He eventually uprooted the oak and, marching proudly home, he declared himself a hero. Thus was born a lacking in top of every proportions, and over time the name of the lower corps became the sacrificial form of the details of less than brilliance. It is not known whether this enchanted weapon is the lower corps himself, or perhaps person by an evil mage or someone will a fate, but it certainly acts in a manner consistent with his own confidence. If it is he, he has never promoted the captivity. He might not realize for care that he is no longer human. As a weapon, Larkor is used, but many of his parents are just out that much hurt. Oh yeah, got him good, all that crap. It's a constant rational warrior's psyche. On the plus side, it's a plus three weapon and immunity to many, many things. Uh, it's a two-handed sword, though, so be wary of that. <laughs> Perhaps, though I have little choice in changing where I, where I am bound. Is that your feeling? I was thought you all had a choice, but then the great cycle likely did not count on divine interference. You must feel persons, pressures that I do not. On occasion, there are my great many things pulling me to one side or another. Ah, I understand. Most of us tend towards equilibrium. It would require effort to pull in one direction or another. But you are pulled in from the start. It's balance being the difficult path. It's the same with nature, which civil when civilization intrudes. And what has been the solution there? Solution? But there has to come a time when things must end, for better or for worse. Aye, but who knows when such an end will come. We work for balance as a case, final cause taken today. Live each day as if we're last, just in case. The present will pass by if you live in the past. Neither should you wait too long for the future to find you. Who has said this? It was Khalid. He did not dwell on things in which I would not either. I wonder what... Now, look, foolish things in my head. Still, these talks always make me feel better. Mmm. Mmm. Oh. Khalid. Oh, wait. Uh, no! uh, Tara, you're having another nightmare. It's a wonder you get any sleep at all. I, I am not so bad. This one was not so cruel as the others. Khalid was in the distance, but he would not come closer, and I could not see the way to him. He walked with us from a distance. He smiled that I was content, I guess. I guess it was. Well, as you traveling with a group probably meant a lot to him. It meant you could carry on. It, it was not a group, just it was just you and I, and I think you're right. Well, I'm sorry you'd be off. I'm sorry you take it late day. Plenty to do. Okay, so here's where I wanted to go, because we have one more quest to do. Hold, the tent has been closed off for your safety, citizen. The circus has been closed until this matter is resolved. What's occurred here? We are not exactly sure. There was no problem until the show was scheduled early in the morning. Apparently, the show began well enough, and then something occurred. Nobody's come out of the tent who went in for the show, and everyone who has been sent to investigate has not come out either. Uh, foul magic is no doubt involved here. We are waiting for the color to arrive. He'll be able to solve this, I'm sure. Nobody all has gotten out. Well, we've been told that one of the animal trainers started out after the show began, but we are never not been able to find him yet. Hmm, I can handle myself. Perhaps I can solve the problem here for you. Very well, then. I'll not stop you wish to risk yourself, as you were warned. He has no risk. Not as long as we have swords and... Braveness to the brim of the tall glass of goodness. We should be careful. There's no telling what is going on within the seat. Guard can handle it. Be prepared for anything, is what I always say. Yes, indeed. Be prepared for anything, and yeah, you gotta be prepared for what you're gonna see here. Hey, what's this now? This doesn't look like the entrance of a tent. Uh, but yeah, it says, upon stepping through the tent door, the world seems to shift. When it settles, you find yourself standing in one end of a bizarre wall, uh, walkway as the wind blows over to you. A massive tower rises on the other side of the bridge. The tent door is nowhere to be found. You shall have to go forward. Yeah. Uh, okay. Here's a genie. Aha! Hey, you see a wayfarer has come to amuse Kala. You must enter a riddle naturally, or I will allow you to pass the bridge. Are you ready to hear it? And why would I want to pass over this bridge? Because it's symbolic of your progress into enlightenment and understanding. Fool! Are you ready to proceed? I have heard though this Kala is before playing your games. Kala does not reveal himself to those who are not worthy. Are you ready to begin? Ah, Alright, I'm ready. Excellent! A princess as old as the prince will be when the princess is twice as old as the prince was when the princess's age was half the sum of their present age. <laughs> Which of the following then could be true? The princess is 30 and the princess is 40. Ah, you are correct! I mean, the kind of respects those with the most agile and quick mind. For, or for those who have played the game before. Please proceed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't remember if he just attacks you or what. Um, I also cannot remember. I don't know why I'm doing this. 
There's nothing over there, is there? Uh, oh shit! There's a shadow. Ah, great. There we go. Oh good, it's immune to that. To no effect. Yeah. Yeah, you gotta watch out for this. Uh, okay, so let's try these arrows. He's pretty old right here. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's what I went by. Free a little bit of experience. That's nice. Jesus fucking Christ. There's even now there's a werewolves. Jeez! That's not right. Armored, sharpened, and raring to go. There we go. Oh, looky there. They just disappeared in a puff of smoke. Huh. Interesting. Jump on my sword while you can, even. Monsters like this don't normally just disappear. Oh, can I go around? Oh, I'd love it if I could. I can't. Oh my god, that's awesome. I didn't realize I could go all the way around. Oh boy. Wolves howling. There's another one. It's as easy as shadow. Crap. Watch out. Yeah, they drop your attributes like a brick. Okay. Don't teach my hamster to suck eggs. Thankfully. Minsk has more than enough strength to deal with it. And we can rest in here if we so choose. Who are you? Oh, whoever you are, you must flee this place at once. He's he's killed everyone else who has come into this place. Almost. Oh, please run. What are you talking about? Who's killed everyone? And why is an ogre talking to me in such a beautiful voice? Kala! Oh, I don't know what he's done exactly or how, but everything here is an illusion. But it's magic that can hurt you, if you could believe in it. Oh, you probably don't understand, do you? I don't know what he's done to the tent or the others who have come in, but their deaths are real. You must run. Just who are you? I was a monster at the voice of a young woman. I, I'm not a monster. I'm an elf, a winged elf, or at least I was. This, this covering you see is some kind of illusion. But if you believe it, then it becomes real. But please, believe me. Now go, before something happens to you, I beg of you. I've heard of winged elf. What are you talking about? I, I come from a race of winged elves, although there aren't many of us left. From Faina Dale in the south. My wings were cut off a long time ago, though. But but this is important. This place is too dangerous. Go back to say you warned everyone what was happening here. You must flee. Uh. Oh, I hope you don't end up like like the others. But all right. My name is Ari. I work in a circus with my uncle Quail. I don't know exactly what happened, but everything changed a few days ago. Everything became chaos and turned into what you see here. Although it all isn't real. It's an illusion. The minions. They all say they serve Kala, so I know he's behind all this. He's an illusionist in the circus, but I don't understand how he was able to do all this. He must be stopped before he hurts any more people. Please, if, if you release him from a change, I can help you stop him. I don't see any chains on you. The chains are invisible, covered by the illusion, and they are magical. They prevent me from casting my own spells, and they maintain the illusion which is placed upon me. Uh, how do I release you? you? You need the key to these chains, but it won't look like a key. There are a couple of commoners in the north side of this chamber. Don't be fooled by the illusion, though. They are monsters. They have a sword, which actually is my key. If you get it from them, I can remove the chain and regain my normal form. But please be careful. You can't trust anything you see here. And she's absolutely Live right. This is essentially... Live a good long some douchebag gnome decided to fuck around with this place. You'll understand why in a second. And here's a spider. Except, is the spider a monster? It's peaceful. Oh, I am a simple woman. <laughs> are you? Okay. <laughs> please don't hurt me. Oh, what am I to do? You don't seem like any creature I've encountered before. I'm not a creature, or at least I never used to be. Not until the circus and everything changed. What are you then? My my name is Hannah. I came to the circus with my son, although he didn't come into town with me. Oh, please help me. How's that you can creature then? I'm not a creature. Or, uh, see. What are you talking about? What's going on? Oh, I don't know. All I know is I came into the tent to watch the performance. A gnome came on the stage and began to perform some kind of magical act. It was quite silly. It was obvious that whatever the gnome was trying to do wasn't looking. His magic fizzled and everyone started laughing. I thought it was part of the act, so I laughed too. And then everything began changing. People started transforming into creatures, then back in themselves. The world shifted, and I felt so sick and horrified. I think I passed out. When I woke up, I had been turned into this, this monstrosity. I don't know what to do. My son didn't come into the tent with me, and I'm frightened to think what may have happened to him. Uh, do I can find him? No, no, I don't. But that woman over there seems to know something about him. Perhaps we talk to her. And who are those peasants over there? They're, they're not people. They're vicious and dangerous. I've seen them kill people. You must stop them. Alright. For now. Alright. So, yeah. Yeah. Peasants, huh? 
For once in your life, you can kill peasants and get away with it. Except they're not actually peasants. They're all werewolves. You have to force attack them, of course. And here's the uh, key. The ogre sword. We go over to the ogre here, and we give it. You, you had the key, or, or rather the sword. Please, please give it to me, and, and I can be rid of this illusionary form at last. Aye, as you wish. And thank you for the trust. The sword is actually key to her doctrine of our revolution. Ta da! There she is. My hands, my skin, it's real again. Oh, thank you, Beovar. But we must find Quail and stop Kala before he does any more harm. Wait here then. I'll go further in the now and we'll come back here. You are not all things are illusions. Close your eyes and strike back only if it hurts you. Oh, bring bring Quail Qu back safety, would you? She's been very good to me. She is an ally. We can have her join up if we so choose. But for now, I'm not going to have her I am here to serve. Welcome, Lord Kalos Rome. Be thee not of impure mind, for surely the Lord Kalos shall destroy thee. Be thou thee not of impure heart, or thou wilt certainly destroy thyself. Kalos one ruler, the one true being. Who exactly is Kala? Where is this from? Kala is beyond thy kin, mortal. He is the beginning. He is the end. It is our God and King. Tremble before him, and you may take pity on here. I am my own person, not this Kala's possessions. Bow before the will of thy betters, mortal. Kala's rage is awesome to behold. I thought he's up to find his path. Alright. Take the key for the information. Farewell. Kala's blessings upon thee, Lord. Hey, uh. Wanderer. Uh, oh. Really? It's an experience? Nah, I don't think so. Okay. Goes Whoa! Hello, I forgot about these guys. We get those second chance. Yeah. Here, real quick. Uh whooshity whoosh. Oh, bang. You point. There we go. I punch. Swords, not words. Eat it. Oh, the eye the Vince and Great. Stand ready. I'm, I can dance on the head of a pin as well. Yeah, that's the funny thing about them. They don't actually hurt you. Every hamster has his nursing. Armored, sharpened, and raring to go. There we go. Illusion is dispelled. Now, unfortunately, because of that, you don't get any uh, uh, experience from them because, you know, they ain't real. You point, I punch. Live by the sword. Live a good long time. There's web spell. Not words. Take the life she gave. Minsk and Boo stand ready. There we go. Easy enough. Stand don't back. think there are any. Uh, justice. Yeah, now the shadows give you experience, because they're not... They're actual creatures here. Okay, there we go. Alrighty. You shall suffer my wrath. I have to do that. Okay. So now we kill all the animals, and... How we go? Oh, fuck. Congratulations! College most means my progress. You may not live as long as you continue to provide such entertainment. Are you ready to proceed? What is going on here? Who's Kala? Fool! Your process of discovery is part of the fun. As to Kala, he is the lord of his domain. How long he shall be your lord? Are you ready to proceed? Proceed where? Let's take the next part of our little game. Are you ready to go? Fine. You just have some courage. Go on then. Okay. And of course. Go for the eyes! And this is the guy. Welcome to my domain. I regret that my hospitality will result in your deaths. At them, my shadows. If they be fools, my other beasts shall strike them down. If not, the task shall fall to you, my shades. The circus now truly begins. Every hamster has his day. Armored, sharpened, okay. and raring to go. Unique. I am skilled in avoidance. So yeah, watch out for Kala over want? there. Um, hmm. 
I feel like I ought to cast something, but I'm not sure if it'll help. Eh. Well, whether or not I'm going to cast anything. Where shall I display my spear Yeah, careful. He's an ogre mage, so. Swords, not words. Memory what is it now? Minsk and Boo stand red. So the the exit has vanished. Oh no. And don't attack this slime, by the way. That's Quail. You cannot hope to or go ahead and attack. I don't really fucking care. I hate that guy. You cannot hope to Easy. There you go. 2,000 experience. I swear, this guy's been on a lot of old Cartoon Network shows. I recognize his voice. I have planned this for too long, only to have my plans shattered by some inbred northern adventurers. I, I just wanted to be respected. How did you know we're from the north, anyway? Uh, you, you've killed me, destroyed Kana with your misplaced morals and beastly greed for adventure. Who has passed here, gnome? Your place is circus with your personal playground? You fool! You! You truly know nothing! I am Kala, an illusionist. I was made a clown a clown mage for the pleasure of the tall folk, but I bided my time, and I was promised a world I could rule. And I'm um, a mage is a criminal, and a gnome is a spectacle. In this tent, in my world, Kala was a master, where none could dare to laugh. What well, is your circus employees, Kala? What have you done with all those that had disappeared in this tent? Indifference killed those fools from the circus. I treat them in death as they were to me in life. A hey, gnome gets no respect. I just wanted people to look up to me. All that I've done. The gnome is dead. How he was able to perform these great feats of illusion will have to remain a mystery, it seems. Oh. Whatever. You You're okay. Yeah, there he is. Ha! I knew Kylo would trip over himself eventually. I'm just pleased he despised me enough to play with me rather than dispose of me like some of the others. What would I ever do without you? I think you need to find out, my dear. I've taught you everything I can. It's time, Murray. Time for you to learn the rest on your own. You're the wisest and the smartest and the kindest man I've ever known. Tch. Yeah, it's a lot nicer to you than he was to me. I wasn't always, my dear. You changed that. But I can't keep you here. You can provide for her better than I. Perhaps you will take it with you? Uh, there's no room for it my side right now, at least. Perhaps another time. Come, come back and visit then. Maybe you'll have need of me in the future and I can travel with you. I'd like that. She's a very sweet lady. But yeah, that's pretty much all there is. Very, very simple. And we get some prizes. Oh, and looky here. That hammer looks kind of familiar, don't you think? Let's take a look. I think it is anyway. Oh, we got some nice money. Let's see here. Okay, I wish I had a uh, scroll thing that I can keep spell scrolls in. Anyway. Uh, oh, this is different. This is Borok's Fist Plus 2. Oh, so it's just... Actually, it's pretty much the exact same as Estadina. They just gave it a different name. Actually, it's, it's, it's a different dice, too. Eh, that's okay. It doesn't matter. Here, you take it. <sighs> Speed Factor 5. Speed Factor 2. Yeah, this is a lot faster. Here you go. And you don't lose freaking hit points. Just... Oh, whoops. <laughs> that was my volume. <laughs> anyway, what else did we get? I'll check these out before I go. Uh, the Ring of Human Influence. Ooh! Charm person once per day. Oh, really? Ugh. Well, last charm item I had replied to penalty, but it had to be a touch spell, so... You know what? It doesn't matter. <laughs> I have 21 charisma! Okay, I'm gonna give this to you. And let's see. What belt did we get? The Elves Bane. Hmm. Actually, that's pretty useful. Here, you wear it. There you go. And last but not least, shoes! Boots of the Forgotten Ones can cast two extra... Oh, what? <laughs> Why not? <laughs> that's not fair. Here, maybe, yeah, that's where I can wear them. Does it work? Oh, <gasps> it, oh my lord. Look at all these spells you got. Holy shit. All right. Um, yeah, sanctuary might hurt. It might not hurt. Uh, sun scorch and 
caused me to wounds. I feel like they <laughs> misnamed that one. Uh, here's Beast Claw. <coughs> yeah, it's not really that useful. Uh, we'll take Cure Mar Wounds. There you go. Hey, that's pretty handy. Nice. I like it. And also, oh, that's right. You're a ranger and you get spells. Uh, bark skin's not really going to help if you got all that armor on. There you go. And we'll give you armor of faith. Okay. Well, there armor. we go. Sharpen and that was the circus. Hope you never have to go to a circus again in your lives. <laughs> but that's going to be the end of this episode. Thank you to everyone who's watched. And I hope to see you in the next one. Until then, take care of yourselves and farewell. <laughs>